Yeah. Uh, the, <laughs> the home of the West Michigan Whitecaps, getting a new name after two decades, Fifth Third Ballpark no more. Now it's LMCU Ballpark, and it will stay that way for the next decade. The Whitecaps announced the rights deal with Lake Michigan Credit Union yesterday morning. The stadium in Comstock Park, if you remember, debuted as Old Kent Park before becoming Fifth Third Ballpark in 2000. That's going to be a tricky one. Got to get used to it. Got to get used to it. Yeah, okay, okay, LMCU. Right? Okay, we got it. Sure. Hey, taxes are taxing on all of us. Greater Ottawa County United Way offering free support for anyone who needs help filing their taxes. MyFreeTaxes.com is in its 12th year, and the online tool provides several tools that allow filers to check for any errors or mistakes to ensure they receive their maximum tax refund. And you can also speak with a real person trained by the IRS by calling the helpline. It's open every day from 10 to 10. You know, we might be on some great lists like best city to live in and all that, but when it comes to the state, we, the people hate us. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, <laughs> Michigan is among the top 10 hated states in the country, according to career website Zipia. They were determining the rankings of the least liked states. They looked at data from each state's residents and the country as a whole. So they compared these three metrics. The percent of residents who told the poll that their state is, quote, the worst possible state to live in. Okay. Then they took the people who said the biggest decrease in population and then the number of other states who say they hate a state the most, according to an Instagram poll. So. They took all that data. Michigan, number seven. I mean, I know we all have our problems, but really? You want to know number one? For my, the most hated? My home state of Illinois. Is it really? Illinois, Chicago. Do you think was it based off of just last year? Because last year has been was so controversial for us, or just? You know, I'm a transplant, and I'll, I'll say before I, I've been living here almost two decades, yeah. and, and before I moved here, yeah. the rep of Michigan was not a positive one. Really? Yeah, and I think it was just because of uh, economy and crime, maybe jobs, things like that. And I was so excited and to come I, back. Then I moved here, and I moved to the west side. And you love it. And I'm never leaving. Right, you I love, love it. it here. I love it too. Hey, maybe a, a shamrock shake will put all the haters in a better mood. McDonald's announcing the shamrock shake and the Oreo shamrock McFlurry will return to participating McDonald's nationwide starting February 15th, just for a limited time. The shamrock shake was created in 1967 by Hale Rock a Connecticut McDonald's owner-operator invented the shake in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, sir. Hey, Nike's out with a snazzy new product. It's a true sign of the times. Look at these shoes. Boink and boink. She just slipped her feet right in and they locked into place. You step on the heel and they pop right off. These sneakers have no laces. You don't need to use your hands. There's a tension band that holds them onto your feet. You see, you get to look at it right there. Oh. And then the heel bends backwards just to take them off. I think the technical word for that is a slipper. <laughs> it's called... A, a run, your, let me put on my running slippers. Your quarantine shoe of yes. choice. Yes. So oh, there was too much of a hassle right. to, to, to tie things. Velcro, too noisy. Velcro, right. Just slip right in. Hmm.